when it comes to weather, it's hard to sound scarier than bomb cyclone. It's a version of a real weather term that applies to a massive winter storm that pulled together Wednesday off the U.S. Southeast coast but as fearsome as the storm is with high winds and some snow, it may not be quite as explosive as the term sounds. Meteorologists have used the term bomb for storms for decades, based on a strict definition, said University of Oklahoma meteorology professor Jason Furtado. After it showed it showed up in a Washington Post story on Tuesday, the weather geek term took on a life of its own on social media. The same thing happened four years ago with polar vortex, another long-used weather term that was little known to the public until then. Bombogenesis is the technical term. Bomb cyclone is a shortened version of it, better for social media, said weather.us meteorologist Ryan Ma, who helped popularize polar vortex in 2014. The actual impacts aren't going to be a bomb at all, Ma said. There's nothing exploding or detonating. Storm intensity is measured by central pressure, the lower the pressure, the stronger. A storm is considered a bomb when the pressure drops rapidly at least 24 millibars in 24 hours. A massive winter storm roared into the east coast on Thursday, dumping as much as 17 inches of snow in some areas and unleashing hurricane force winds and historic flooding that closed schools and offices and halted transportation from the Carolinas to Maine. Forecasters expected the storm to be a massive winter storm roared into the east coast on Thursday, dumping as much as 17 inches of snow in some areas and unleashing hurricane force winds and historic flooding that closed schools and offices and halted transportation from the Carolinas to Maine. Forecasters expected the storm to be. This storm looks like it will intensify at twice that rate, said Bob Oravik, lead forecaster at the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center. So far, the storm has dumped freak snow on the southeast. It's aiming for the northeast, where the snow forecast for Thursday isn't that big a deal, Furtado and others said. The worst of this storm will stay out to sea. What is going to be bigger is the high winds, gusts exceeding 60 mph and the bitter cold that follows, they said. Bomb cyclones draw air from polar regions after they leave. In this case, it means extra cold Arctic air because of where the polar vortex is, Furtado said. A brutal winter storm smacked the coastal southeast with a rare blast of snow and ice Wednesday, hitting parts of Florida, Georgia and South Carolina with their heaviest snowfall in nearly three decades. Forecasters warned that the same system could soon strengthen into a bomb cyclone as it rolls. A brutal winter storm smacked the coastal southeast with a rare blast of snow and ice Wednesday, hitting parts of Florida, Georgia and South Carolina with their heaviest snowfall in nearly three decades. Forecasters warned that the same system could soon strengthen into a bomb cyclone as it rolls. Worldwide, about 40 to 50 bomb cyclones brew each year, but most are over open ocean and nobody but weather geeks notice, Ma said.